Has this ever happened to you where you're just walking and suddenly you fall in front of a camera? Well, today guys, I wanted to share something. The other day I was a little bit uninspired, a little bit bored. And if this has ever happened to you, well, this video is for you because I've got something special. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome to a new episode. Okay. Before you think everything is perfect, I want to share with you that lately I've been a little bit bored by my own work. What I'm going to say is simply that I've been shooting a lot in cities and I haven't been outdoors in the real outdoors for a little bit. So now it's getting a little bit repetitive to actually shoot cities, urban landscape, people, street photography, all that. I love it. But at one point, you know how it feels. It's like, eh, okay, can I do something different? Well. Today I want to share something that I decided I would do completely different today. I started shooting differently. I started using different angles. And I think the one I'm going to share is going to be great for a lot of you. And there is a big advantage because on top of getting cool different photos, you're also going to work out a little bit. So if you're ready, let's share what you can do and what happens when you start shooting really low. God, that was unnecessary, but love this. Let's face it, most of us are usually shooting at the same height. You know, we like to shoot at shoulder height, maybe waist height maximum. And that is fun, that is great, that is kind of lazy, but if you want something different, you have to change the way you're shooting. So if you're bored with your style of shooting, maybe you have to change the way you're holding your camera, the way you're positioning your body with your camera. Well, shooting low really, really does that for you because you have to get low on the ground, you have to get low on your knees, maybe you have to bend over, and suddenly, instead of seeing life like a normal human being, you see it like a dog. You see life literally on the ground, like at ground level. And suddenly everything takes different perspective, different ambience, you get sucked in a little bit more in the image. And that is what I really, really like about shooting low. So today I went on a little challenge just for myself and I went out there and shot very low everywhere in the city. It was fun, got a lot of garbage shot because it's kind of difficult to see what you're doing unless you're like literally leaning, laying on the ground in the city, which I don't recommend in winter when the snow is melting. It's, it's, it, ah, it's kind of yucky. So I wrote down about four big advantage of shooting really low. The first one is simply immersion. The moment you get so low on the ground, you get a different angle. That angle really gives the viewer the impression of being sucked into the scene. It feels like you're there, you're in the scene, you know? Versus if you take a higher shot or an earlier shot, it feels like you're looking at it from a spectator distance. But suddenly, when you get really low on the ground, you are inside it. You are inside that scene. You're literally living inside it. So that is for me a very big advantage and I use it especially in shots with action because if you combine it with a wide angle, then you get really great perspective and it feels like the action is happening right here, right now versus seeing someone in the distance do something. My second big advantage when you're shooting solo and that's something that you must have tried already, I'm pretty sure of it. You can comment down below if you did. It is simply that when you get so low to the ground, you're also able to play with puddles, play with reflection in the water, you know? In order to get the good reflection, you get, have to get really low on the ground. You have to bend low to the ground and really put your camera next to that water to get the reflection. You can get cool effects like that. And I think it's especially cool at night because then you get a lot of bulk in all directions. Can be nice during daytime, but yeah, nighttime really gives that shiny effect with like lights and flashing in all direction. I really love it to be honest. If you've ever, never tried it, obviously try it. If you've tried it already, maybe try to mix things up. Do it during daytime if you do it at nighttime usually or the contrary, do it at nighttime. So for this shot, I literally had to uh, kneel down on the floor and I tried to get the water reflection with the train passing by because I thought that looked really good. Uh, you really need to pay attention to details in my opinion, especially when you shoot low, you can have so much fun. And don't hesitate to come very, very, very close 
to get your water reflection because you really need to be in the water to get it right especially in cities especially with puddles uh, you can have a lot of fun but you need to get get into it really really get into it uh, so much fun here so much fun you have the train passing by especially here and so if you go low on the ground you have really a big perspective with the train being massive so it's a real big difference it's i really like that exercise because that's something you don't do usually because you're kind of lazy to go down you know but here it's fun you know it's it's all about changing things up in order for you to really uh, feel like you're starting something new and you get excited about shooting again okay so now my last biggest advantage and there are thousands of them but it's really to get new elements into your images because when you're solo on the ground you pick up different things you might pick up trash you might pick up feet you might pick up animals you know suddenly animals are gonna look bigger than their masters masters look let's take a quick walk with all those people and see how it looks from the ground ready there we go look at that you've got so many details you've got snow here you've got people's bag you've got the, the structure on the floor so here's a cool example where we've got some backlight that is being reflected on the wall over there and what is nice is that it kind of creates a long shadow so when you actually uh, shoot very low you can see we get super long shadows so you can wait for people to pass by and try to shoot like that um, that's what I just did it's uh, it's fun shots I think uh, if you get the right person in that shot that gets really interesting I think you get the point you get the point you get different elements and that is the beauty about it it's because it's all about creating something different something that excites you a little bit more and the other day I was just walking around and so some ice that was on the floor like just falling from a car and I was like oh that looks kind of cool the light was great just shot it made me happy nothing special in that shot but it's all about being happy with what you're creating what you're doing in, t in photography so if you're ever bored if you ever feeling like you're always doing the same thing I think shooting low on the ground is amazing and if you may be creating videos and you really want to get that viewer to feel like he's in the scene with you get a wide angle and shoot really low because that's gonna get really really your viewer sucked into that scene all right now it's your turn I want you to get out there and shoot I want you to shoot very low tag me in your photos drop them on Instagram maybe hashtag PL Pierre low or low Pierre no that sounds lame um, whatever you want to say or shoot low whatever you want drop it in the comments below maybe drop your Instagram also I'll try to check some of your work and remember Creativity is all about doing something different and if you're used to doing the same thing all the time well try to spice things up either by changing the way you're shooting with your camera changing your lens changing your environment all that now I've got a small announcement to make if you're in Los Angeles Chicago or Paris I've got a workshop coming up for you one is the beginning of March one is end of March and one is in May so all the details are in the description below if you want to join me on this workshop it's going to be a full day immersion we're going to be shooting for a few hours with a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching and then I will explain to you exactly in person how I edit all the process everything behind it and really the goal is to take your photography to the next level in a personal setting so if you're interested link is below I did one in London and one in New York people loved it so yeah feel free to join me that would be awesome with that being said, uh, remember, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. And I'm freezing to death and it started raining, so I will see you on the next episode. I'm gonna go inside the warmth and I'm going to edit that video and drop it for you. If you're new to this channel, you don't know who I am. I'm Pierre, I'm a travel adventure photographer. Very soon I'm gonna be in the much warmer weather. I will share with you all those adventures. I cannot wait. You'll see it's gonna be amazing. So make sure you hit the SUBS every button, ring that notification bell, and I will see you on the next episode. See you guys, bye. What is that new things I've been working on today? It is simply changing my camera, you know. No more few things. Uh, see, you wanna have the perspective of a dog. What does life look like when you're a dog?